Hi, it's March 9th, and I'm Mark Friedman, just an American citizen. Love the country. You know I've been feeling good. It's like people don't, you know, people want me to yell at people. I have people calling me up, Mark, why aren't you like getting crazy? Why? Things are going good in the country. We're starting to put it together. People are starting to see this right-wing wackos are gone. You don't even see any, any of the real super left-wing people out there. It's just people are trying to make this thing work. We're going to have a nice summer, a nice spring, a nice fall. Hopefully things are rolling through there. I got some issues I'm going to be raising, but I want to get on to some for more fun stuff while we're doing it because I'm in such a good mood. We're gonna I'm gonna start interspersing some of these uh, uh, videos with music. Okay, everybody talks these days vinyl this vinyl that. I went back into my record collection. I wasn't allowed to watch TV during the week growing up. I was only allowed to watch TV for Fridays at 6, or Fridays when I got back from practice and went to Nana's for dinner until Sundays at 6. Except we were allowed to watch the Beatles when they came one on Ed Sullivan and we put on our Beatle wigs the first time. And so, and, and of course, vacations. So I just listened to music. And back then, we were more of an audio file type of people. We were into music. Things were just happening. It's just So I come out in fifth grade, the Beatles come out with Meet the Beatles and I just started taking off from there. My mother had me heavily into musicals. I love musicals. Gigi, uh, 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 Oklahoma, West Side Story. I go through all those. We can do all that stuff down the road. But right now, My Fair Lady, Oklahoma. But right, but then I got launched into music, launched into rock as soon as the Beatles came. So what I want to do is talk about some of these albums that people go out and buy them because they just buy them because they may be worth money or something. I want to talk about the music that's on the vault, on these albums. And these albums that I play are like pop, pop, hiss because I played it so much. So let's talk about an album. We're going to call this To Stream or Not To Stream. I'm going to give you one of my favorite albums of all time. One of the greatest first albums that came out and made such a mark. Jimi Hendrix, Experience. Are you experienced? No. Whoops. Jimmy. Mitch. This is an album to get. Stream it. Listen to the music on here. This is what they say. Number one, it's just so great to have. Look at the dress. Oh, man, that's how we used to try to dress. I was never allowed to dress that crazy. But, man, I love the Carnaby Street. But this guy comes out. He comes out of... Monterey, and, and, and everybody's going crazy. They're hearing, who is this guy? Who is this guy? And I'll go into this. I have so many other albums. But this came out. And all of a sudden, you start hearing, before war, it used to be an experience, meant making you a bit older. This one makes you wider. And they start going into it. Listen to some of this music. Purple haze all in my brain. Manic depression. Torturing my soul, and he just blows out a lefty on a right-handed guitar. Mitch Mitchell go crazy on the drums. They said he almost got rid of him because he was always late for sessions and stuff. But man, he knew how to fill it. No wedding on bass was a lead guitarist. Hey Joe, is this love or is it da -da 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 confusion? Oh, may this be love. I don't live today. The wind. Cries, oh my gosh, everybody knows fire, third stone from the sun. We're listening to mono back then. Mono was taking all these instruments and putting it through one speaker, maybe this big, so you'd hear the drums, the guitars, the horns, the bass, the everything through one little speaker. So the music had to be great. Well, Jimmy comes out, it's stereo, stereo started, what was it, 66, I think, really started getting out there. This was in 67, and you're listening to Third Stone from the Sun, and you just hear, doom, 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 doom. it's going back and forth, the way it didn't happen on any other albums, back and forth and back and forth, and then Foxy Lady, wow, 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 I mean, how incredible, and then Are You Experienced, that was the song, <laughs> Are You Experienced, let me tell you something, this is a stream, one of the greatest first albums of all time. Different groups had albums. Some of them hit big, some didn't. We're going to hit some of them. But the first one I want to hear and I want you to listen to, put on the headphones and turn it up. Are you experienced? Then you'll be smiling because you will be experienced. Peace.